Hey everybody, it's Dr. Missy. Welcome to medical school class number whatever. This one is called Reverse Basting Lung Rotisserie. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I'm gonna show you a technique that I've kind of discovered on my own. I've never seen it described anywhere, but it sure made a lot of sense to me and it's made a big difference to me as I drain my lungs. I'm just gonna show you, I have not, Phil has not done the lung drumming on me for two whole days. And you can hear that I'm getting kind of cruddy in here. <coughs> hear that, there's stuff in there. So he's gonna just work on my right lung. And remember the right lung has the right main stem bronchus that's fairly vertical. So I'm gonna use this pillow under my left hip and I'm gonna be facing you this way with my head here at the sock and then I'm gonna show you that you can actually drain not just drain this way with your head flat meaning your hips and shoulders are just headed straight to the ceiling but you can also go at about a 45 degree angle and we put this sock in the very middle of the room. And if you're in the middle of the room, that's ideal because 45 degrees will be right at the corner where the ceiling meets the wall. And the other 45 degrees is at this corner where this ceiling meets the wall. And so you can drain the best way for gravity and then a different part of your lung drains and then a different part of your lung drains. And I've found that doing these other two positions helps me get more out than just doing the up and down position. <clears throat> I've never seen it described anywhere. Maybe I'm crazy, but it's working for me. I'm on day 41. I'm doing really well. And I'm just trying to give you everything I've been doing, even though it's unorthodox. And the diploma you get from me will not be recognized by the American Medical Association. <laughs> but it's worth what you paid for. But it's worth every penny that you paid for it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Phil uh, Gibson might get on the bed. He's got much less reluctant these days. So he's going to do the lung drumming on my right lung over there. Then I'm going to get in the position here. Once Phil leaves, Gibson might stay with me. You're going to do your right lung piece, your head this way. Yeah. Okay. Not for the drumming. Oh. Or I could, you could do the drumming yeah. here too, Inside. right? Yeah. Let's do it not. Okay, let's do that. Never mind. That's Plan a different B. Angle. Plan B. A different angle. We're getting fancy here. All right, so right lung. Don't worry, the sock is clean. <clears throat> no. Be nice. <laughs> Missy said the ver verdict is still out. I don't know whether or not she's crazy. Uh, verdict's not out with me. Those of you who know me <laughs> know I'm absolutely crazy, and I love it. So Ooh. I'm doing my breathing. I'm breathing all the way out and all the way in, and it's going to trigger some coughing. But you'll, you'll notice from class number two and three and four, it's way better. And I haven't done it for two days. I mean, nothing for two days and two nights. So, <clears throat> um, you're, I mean, I'll cough stuff up, but I don't think it'll be nearly as bad. And uh, I'm very grateful for that because the lung thing is what are, what's killing people, really. And periodically, I'll show you what not to do, like rubbing my nose. <laughs> and tickling me. And tickling her. Don't tickle me. All right, I'm going to start at the top. Uh, front part of her lung, so she's at 45 right now. That's my armpit, so he's doing the outside of my lung, the, the lateral side.
if she's getting overwhelmed with the coughing, then I'll usually slow down or stop just to let her hack it out and then get back to my bongos. <coughs> trying to work primarily on the front of her lungs. Do the front now? Do the, the side or the front? Okay. Just the right, just the right one. So he's going to get on top where my top of my lung is, above my collarbone, and then right above my breast and below my breast. Hopefully he won't tickle my breast because sometimes he's getting, you know. I can tell you guys, don't get any ideas at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and don't ask me how I know. in your lungs. Yes. I like that. Can you get my right lung for me being on this way? Because uh -huh. I don't want to put my butt to the camera anymore. <laughs> See, you want to roll a little bit more because I want to get this side here. There you go. So he's done the side, he's done the front, and now he's doing the back of my right lung. But only after I cleared it out, my breathing was good. <coughs> Oh. 
I'll be signing autographs at the Rydman Auditorium at 6 o'clock tonight. <laughs> no, he won't be. All right, so I am sweating. Anytime you're going to do a bunch of coughing and coughing up phlegm, I've noticed the body's natural reaction is to sweat. So I got some sweating going on there. You can do all these exercises in the pulmonary drainage positions, but honestly... It was hard to get in those positions. It was harder for Phil to do the lung drumming. So we've gotten to where we just do them flat like this. I cough up as much as I can while he's here. <clears throat> <coughs> and then I get on the pillow and do the other positions. I'm just showing you the right lung drainage. If you're trying to drain the front, You'd actually be sitting up, I want to say like 45 to 60 degrees, and do your breathing exercises. And you can do the same thing with that reverse basting rotisserie. You can go off to the right 45 degrees, straight to the ceiling, and off to the left 45 degrees. That's going to drain the front of your right lung, especially the top front of it. If you're draining the back of it, you can stay in this position or go, remember we sort of had that downward dog position. <clears throat> I'm just going to, and the same thing there, you're going to go until you, you do your breathing. It'll make you cough up. So this is the second position, uh, getting the back of your right lung. <coughs> and... Uh, then that downward dog, you can kind of go to the right by 45 degrees, do a few more breathing, go to the left by 45 degrees, a few more breathing. If you have to make a little sign like I made, by all means, go ahead and make one. It'll help you know that you're at the right angle. And again, you want to put yourself in the center of the room. This is kind of a, a nerdy engineering principle. Uh, the corners of the walls are at 45 degrees, straight up. We'll call that 90. Down here, we'll call that zero. And right where the ceiling meets the wall up there is 45 degrees. I have found that if I just do the three basic positions, I get pretty good cough going and pretty good phlegm out. But if I add those plus 45, minus 45 degree positions to each of these three main drainage positions, sitting up about 60 degrees for the anterior right lung and left lung. Um, downward dog for the posterior lung um, and then left and right. And then the one I'm about to show you is <clears throat> on the side and it's the main right lung drainage position. And we're calling this, thank you Camille, reverse basting lung technique. So let's, let's discuss this. If you have a rotisserie, you got a piece of chicken, big old bird on a rotisserie, and let's say he's kind of frozen. He would move as a unit. So his legs and his wings and his breast and his hips, everything's gonna move at the same time. Like if you roll a log, roll log left, roll log right, okay? That's why I'm calling it a rotisserie. We're calling it the lung because I'm all about trying to help your lungs. 
Now the reverse basting uh, is because instead of getting in the oven and basting it with butter or juices every now and then, you're actually wanting the basting, all the crap in your lungs to come out. So we're calling this reverse basting lung rotisserie or RBLR. No, you don't have to know it by the short name. <laughs> reverse basting lung rotisserie. I know it's ridiculous, but it's the way that I wanted to try to describe to you so that you would absolutely know how to do it. And I was using this little thing before, which is like a little spatula, but honestly, I couldn't quite tell if I was at 45 degrees. So I put it on a big cardboard and uh, taped it on there so that I could definitely tell better when I'm laying down that that's 45 and that's 45, that's 90, that's zero, that's zero, okay? All right, you got it? Here we go, I'm gonna get on my thing here. This is the center of our room from, it's only like a 12 foot room, so that's six feet. <clears throat> All right. So you can tell I'm a nerd and I think of all these things. They're not even described in the books, but you know, whatever. Okay, so you can see from there, are you coming up? Gibson always comes up for this part. Come here, sweetie pie. Yeah, it's okay. You lay down right there. Lay down. That's a good boy. Stay right there. Stay. He might be a little bit worried about this. He gets afraid of pizza boxes, so we'll see. It's okay, sweetie. I know, don't growl at it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, I promise. It's okay. So I'm gonna do my breathing exercises. This is straight up and down, okay? My hips and my shoulders are straight up and down to the ceiling. <coughs> and now, this part of my lung here is draining, my right lung. This very lateral edge, we call that lateral. <clears throat> that was a good one. That's probably a twofer. Ugh, I hate the loogie. Hack a loogie. We're at the flim gym again, Gibson. We're at the flim gym, aren't we? Yes, we are. <coughs> Gibson's seven years old. I'm pretty sure I can see it in his eye. He's a little worried about this thing right here. good so let's see just at 90 degrees is doing really good postural drainage. My posture, the way I'm laying with my right hip up and my right shoulder down in a vertical position, um, it's draining really good. Now when I talk, I don't cough, but when you breathe, so you'll wanna not do a lot of talking, I'm doing it because of the video, but when you breathe, especially deep in, if it's coming up, it'll start to tickle and you'll have to cough. And it's okay to take a break and get that coughed out and then start breathing again, but you wanna have about five breaths. You stay, it's okay, you stay. That's a good boy. It's all right, nothing's wrong, okay? I'm sorry, I'm talking loud. <coughs> okay. So let's say that one's done, okay? 
so as not to scare the dog. It's okay, sweetie. It's all right. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Whoa, I'm on the edge of the bed, aren't I? Anyway. You don't want to fall off your bed. If you have to grab onto the bedding, that's fine too. But you see the way I try to get my shoulders and my... I'm trying to move as a rotisserie. See that? Tick, 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 Except I got no heat on me. And I'm going to tick around to about 45 degrees and do my breathing here. <coughs> 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 Yuck. <coughs> so let's say that one's done. This one might scare my puppy. It's okay, Gibson. It's okay, Gibson. So I'm going to try to get my hips and my shoulders to that wall. You're a good boy. Breathing. I'm sweating. I can hear myself wheezing when I breathe out at the very end. So probably that means some more stuff is in there. <coughs> yes, it was. Good boy. Good boy. I know you're nervous about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so remember, what do you think, Gibson? Are you mad at that thing? Remember what we're going to call it? Reverse basting long rotisserie. And the idea behind it all is I'm a frozen bird, okay? I figured Gibson might leave. I'm a frozen bird. And right here, up and down, my hip. And my shoulder are up and down. We used to call this log rolling in the OR when you'd log roll a patient up and down because sometimes you had to. Then this is 45 degree log roll. I'm doing it with my legs, my hips, my spine, and my shoulder, and my neck, everything. And then I can log roll this way also. I can't get back there. I gotta reposition on this a little bit but you can see I'm over here more and here I'm gonna be upright and here I'm gonna be over here and my body is moving like a like a log like a stick you know you can't move this part of the stick without moving that part of the stick the whole stick moves so you want to move your shoulder and your hip the exact way to 45 Straight up and 45. <coughs> so, I know it may sound kind of crazy, but it really does work. When I added those 45 degree parts, it really helped me cough up even more. Now, I haven't done my left lung yet today. <coughs> Usually for five or ten minutes afterwards, I'm going to keep coughing stuff up. <coughs> and you want to do that. I mean, this is your opportunity to clear out all the corners of your lung, every little alveolar sac, and there's a whole bunch of them. Get the mucus out of all of them. Give yourself a fresh start. Even if you have to do this every hour, you better do it 
because you don't want to get to the hospital and you don't want a ventilator and you certainly don't want to die and you don't want to let anyone you love die. Promise me, okay? This really, really works. <coughs> so I'm going to do some breathing because nothing came up that time. This way it lets you expand your lungs even better. Especially if you kind of arch your back a little bit. <coughs> Part of it is a tickle in my throat. Uh, I meant to use a, a menthol. Remember how I said I usually use a, uh, a cough drop? And you can kind of chew it up really good so that it's kind of dissolved, but there's a heavy menthol in your mouth so that when you do the lung drumming, uh, it works that way. Now, a lot of you, if you don't have anyone there, I also believe strongly that of course, the, the lung drumming of what Phil is doing is really important, and it's great if you have that extra person. But there's a lot of people that don't. You know, you're single moms, you have a little four-year-old, and you're, you're by yourself, you don't, you're new to a town. There's just so many reasons why you wouldn't have somebody there. I don't want you to get in trouble either. Or if your primary partner is a necessary provider and they're off working for eight hours, but you feel like you need to do this every hour or two while they're gone. My recommendation to you is to get in these positions, including the rotisserie 45 degree plus, 45 degree minus positions, okay? When you do that and you get in these different positions that I told you about, um, do that one, two, three breathing exercise. <clears throat> and that's one, exhale all the way. Two, inhale slowly all the way. And then cough, 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 cough until you have nothing left in your lungs that you can cough, no, no more air. And then, you know, capture your breath a little bit and then start your breathing exercise all the way out, all the way in, all the way out, all the way in. If you can do five of those in a row without coughing anything up, you can change positions. You can go to this one. If you can do, do your coughing exercise here, one, two, three, cough, 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 cough. Capture your breath, one, two, one, two, one, two, until you can get five of those in without coughing anything up. Then go to this position. And then you've, you've finished one of these drainage positions where you're, that was the lateral position where my hip is up, straight up, my shoulder is straight down, and I'm pointing straight up. Remember the other one was the downward dog position where my butt is up. Remember I was on my knees, my butt is up and my shoulders are down. That's another one. And you can also, assuming that's kind of up, you could roll yourself off to the side, as best you can without falling over and then roll yourself to the side this way, okay? <coughs> Just remember, you're like, I don't know what 45 degrees is. Well, yes, if you're in the center of a room, you do. This is 90, this is zero, 45 is halfway in between, which is actually pointing right at that corner of where the wall meets the ceiling on both sides, okay? So you know what 45 is. If you wanna get fancy, you could do like a real rotisserie. You could do 10, 20, 30, 45, you know, and then over here too. I mean, you could, the reason why I'm having you do these different angles is that when you look, I, I sent you guys a picture of what all the, the main bronchus looks like and then how the other bronchioles go out and they, they keep dividing out like a very complicated branching system on a tree. So you can imagine gravity, because the branches go in every different direction, 
gravity works best up and down. So you want to get all those every other directions of bronchioles to be lined up more with gravity so they'll spew out that loogie. Okay? You got it? All right. That's all I got for you today. I want to do one about how, you know, COVID-19 and wearing a mask and how to and how not to wear a mask. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, tonight at 8 o'clock, we are having another question and answer live on our Facebook group page called Dr. Missy's Medical School. It's the group page. You want to ask to join the group. We'll let you in automatically, free of charge. You get what you pay for. These are my thoughts. All of it's anecdotal, but I can tell you, as a retired orthopedic surgeon with 30 years of experience in the medical field, these have worked beautifully on my lungs, and I am a survivor, and I don't think I would have been had I just laid around not doing my lungs. I got very seriously ill. So if you get short of breath or you get chest pain or you get a real tightness in your chest, um, call your doctor, call your hotline, figure out where you need to go, go get seen. Um, it's okay if some of this gives you some sweating or it takes your breath away just for a little bit, but not, not for a long period of time. So don't hurt yourself, don't pass out. And uh, I love you guys, thank you for your support. Please share it with all your friends. Um, you know, the more we can get this word out, the better. They're not advertising this on the news stations. The doctors, the medical consultants they're using, they're talking about a lot of things, but they're not talking about pulmonary toilet. And they're certainly not talking about reverse basting lung rotisserie, okay? And I wish they would, because there's a lot of practical, common sense things y'all could do to make a huge difference in getting that snot out of your lungs, okay? It's super important. Your lungs are supposed to see air, not snot. Okay. Bye, guys. You can tell I'm feeling better. I'm getting feisty with you. Thank you for listening and watching.